Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! So here we are back with Princess Peach. Uh, just to clarify something real quick, in regards to Huff and Puff, I said that he had an attack that would have taken me out in one hit. That is simply because of my low HP. Even blocking it, it would have caused 11 points of damage. So yeah, I'd be very much dead. Hey, Twink. You know the sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? I can change it to someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. Oh, that sounds awesome! Can I transform into you? Can I transform into you? No? I don't think that's possible. I'm gonna say it's not possible. Well, that's a bummer. Would have been interesting to wander around as a pair of twinks. Mm, I suppose it's for the best, though. If Princess Peach could turn into a star, then all we'd have to do is head on out here and just fly the coop. There we go. Princess Peach is safe. Hold on a sec. You're low to the ground out here, aren't you? No, the game just doesn't simply... The game just simply doesn't let you. Oh, well. Seriously, though, Peach, why didn't you think of that? I suppose, to be fair, she would not know how to fly around as a star. She'd probably be flopping around on the floor. Huh. Security has certainly laxed. That said, don't step in between those guys over there or near that guy over there or the one up there, because they will still spot you. Now let's go ahead and try this puppy out. Yeah, this is definitely cool. Hey, how goes it? Yeah. <sighs> They've been working me like a dog lately. Say... I heard that Kami Koopa is building some big thing above Princess Peach's castle. I bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. I would question if that was foreshadowing, but no, that's literally telling me what's going on. On patrol? Very good then, you can pass through. Nah, not necessary. Let's go ahead and head in here. What are you doing here? Get back to your station. Kami Koopa will chew us both out if she finds you here instead of at your post. Nah, there's actually something I want in here. Something that I imagine a lot of people might miss. Why do we bother patrolling? I mean, don't you agree? Sure, I know, Princess Peach got out of a- got out a couple times. But this castle is hovering in the middle of the sky. Where's she gonna go, huh? I think King Bowser's nervous. He hides it well, then. I said it before, but to be fair, they are right to keep Princess Peach locked away. Because, thanks to her, Mario has been gaining some very useful information about where the Star Spears are being held. What? What are you looking at? I, I'm not looking for the book you think I'm looking for. What book are you looking for? I swear, no fooling. I'm trying to study something. Here, take this and go away. Nice. Seriously, leave me alone. I'm really trying to study. I always get this killer headache when I open a book. Hooray! I'm a hammer bro! Ah, oh, this is awesome. 
This is like one of the only times in the entire Mario franchise you get to play as a hammer bro. Oh, I would totally be throwing a hammer right now, but pressing the B button is what makes you change back to normal. Actually, I come to think of it, I don't even have a hammer, do I? That's a bummer. Oh, in case you're wondering, talking to that character after transforming into him, he doesn't recognize himself. He just says the same thing. Let me think. There's this game. And there's... Super Mario Odyssey. Those are the only two games I can think of where you can actually play as a hammer bro. Aside from that, there's the Boomerang Brothers suit in Super Mario 3D World, which is honestly a really fun power-up. Probably my favorite power-up in that game. And Princess Peach looks awesome in that costume. On patrol, yes. Oh, that's kind of neat. Even for these transformations, they programmed in some lighting effects. The shadowing. Despite the fact that these are 2D sprites. All quiet here! Me? Nervous? No, not me. You surprised me, that's all. Where's my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please, I'm exhausted. He looks like this. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. Okie dokie. It's the key to the entrance of the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. Alright, awesome. Finally have a way out of this place. Uh, by the way... I really wish I could use that treasure chest back there to send this parasol to Mario. This is... Th this thing has such fun potential. And you only really get to use it this one time. After this segment's over, that's it. No more turning into enemies. Such a bummer. Hey, you... Stop loitering around here. Who's loitering? I'm just chatting it up with y'all. Why'd you leave your station? Oh, you're looking for your relief, huh? Well, get a move on then. Nobody's in here. Go away. All right. It kind of makes me wonder, what if I waited until now to discover the toad that is hiding in there? Would he pop up and be all, yeah, hammer bro? Also, here's a fun thought. How deep does this transformation go? You think Princess Peach is male now? That's gotta be an interesting experience. Zzz. Don't mind me, I'm just heading on out. It seems to be locked. You can't open it. Uh-uh, so much for that. Um... Well, let's do the relief thing then. So sleepy. So very sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap. But don't tell anyone. Zzz. Mumble. Mumble. Alright, let's change back to normal. Um, Princess Peach, somewhere around here, close by. Zzz, mumble, mumble. Hey, it's you! Oh no, it's just me. Hello, me! Zzz, mumble, mumble. Yeah, he's pretty much the only character that acknowledges himself. 
I tell you what, I like the Hammer Brother transformation a lot more than this. Heck, I kind of like the P Koopa Troll transformation more than this. This body just feels icky somehow to me. Anyway, I guess we'll just go ahead and head on back here. Do the whole I'm in disguise and you can go on break now thing. You do that in a whole lot of games, kind of think of it. In fact, not just in video games, but in movies and storytelling in general. Ah, finally! About time! It's so late! Again! Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time. But watch it, okay? Okay. Have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off either! You're on thin ice, buddy. In case you're wondering, I have no idea where he goes to. You could try looking all over for him, he's nowhere to be found. Also, I find it interesting that none of these guards are questioning the star kid that happens to be following us around. It's like, does he even really need to hide himself? They don't seem to care about him. Hey you! Yeah you! Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction anyway. Okay, okay. Everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all of the star spirits, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely. Affirmative. You're right, Kami Koopa. Hmm. You there. You're doing a fine job. Keep up with the good... Wait. Something's weird about you. You smell... too nice. Okay, now I know I definitely don't like being a clubber. Yeah. Uh oh. You, why you little Princess Peach? Unbelievable! Out again. Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room. No. You know, at this point in the game, if this kept happening to me, I wouldn't be all, No! I would be all, Ah, uh, dang it. What a pleasure to meeting you. My name is Clever. Is it because you have a book? Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers and flower fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would never have seen the light again. Now there is only one of us Star Spears still trapped. Just one more, Mario! Here, please use my power as you continue your fight. Mario's Star Energy goes up to 6. Mario can now use Time Out, a new Star Spirit power. With Time Out, you can stop time and stop all enemies in their tracks. So basically, stopwatches are useless now. Now you are able to use the power of the six star spirits. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident though, you must be careful. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll go back to Star Haven now. I can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone.
Congratulations, young Mario! You saved the Star Spirit! Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Yeah, this place is definitely nice once it's no longer depressing. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Do you think that when Wise Whisterwood dies, the door will still work? Alright, we still have a bunch of time left in the stream, so let's go ahead and see how everybody's doing. Now that the sun's back and the clouds are gone-ish. Rosie and Lily are always arguing about which one of them is more beautiful. They're both beautiful. Why compare? I would disagree with that. Every flower is beautiful. I've heard rumors about many flowers, but I've never heard any rumors about me. What do they think about me? Are they talking about me? I wonder how it would be feel to be the center of attention all the time. I couldn't tell you. I have too few viewers to really get that sense. Hmm. Alright, let's start with some rumors about this particular bulbul. Got any information about him, Gumbario? You know, a lot of the flowers and flower fields will answer you if you talk to them. They're probably our best source of news around here. Apparently, no. Alright, let's make something up. What is some sort of thing we can tell everybody about this particular bulb? Well, I do notice that his flower is the bluest here. Compared to the one over there, at least. What about the others down here? Green? Yellow? You know, I never noticed that they are different colors until now. Yes, you are indeed the bluest bulb. Want that. I'm gonna need it for a recipe at some point. Do I still have the other one? No, I gave that away. So glad I grabbed that. After basking in this lovely sun for a while, I've noticed that it feels good to grow. Even though I can't move, I'm completely happy right here. She has certainly has some interesting character development. That character... Going from not wanting to seize to grow because they'll be stuck in one place to... Having the whole thing where it's not so bad being in one place all the time. Definitely curious what life must be like though. I'm not sure if I would like being in one place all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these. I don't think it's used in any recipes. But maybe it's worth something. Don't know. The sun is shining, and I am floating. Oh, I'm so happy. That was a lot more less, a lot less anything that I expected. But whatever, just enjoy your life in the water. You know, out of all the plants here, you probably have it best. Aside from the whole drying up thing, you actually get to float around a little bit. Not completely stuck in one place. I should totally try to do something about that gold flower next time it appears. Hold on a sec. 
These guys have something new to say now. It's always a pleasure to meet people with wonderful taste. And here I was thinking that there were none were no more cultured people left in the world. Bravo! Scintillating! Let's hear it for incredible snobbery and fine culture. No! Let's let's not hear it for incredible snobbery. It kinda sucks. You know, genuinely nice people are really hard to find. I put many different people to the test since I've been here, and you're the nicest. If you keep doing good deeds, I bet you'll go through many gates as you travel. Yeah, one of them leads to a demon. Um, oh. I really should have changed my equipment before coming into this part. Could have done that whole dizzy thing again. I'll do that after this fight. For the moment, I'm pretty sure Spike can get rid of him. Yep. We got this. Kinda think of it, something just occurred to me. We were not able to get any information about the location of the next star spirit. That's usually the point of each peach segment. So technically speaking, we have no idea where to go. Okay, let me go ahead and swap this out. Uh, no, I don't need another one. If I do, I can go ahead and grab it later. These are not easy to retrieve. Oh, by the way, I haven't clarified it yet, but... Spike's attack has a time limit. Which makes sense, every attack has a time limit to get it right. It's just that in this case, if you fail, you completely miss. But of course, you can press the A button once you're there to kind of speed things along. Don't have to wait for the time limit to run out. No, I don't need that, I said. I said I don't need that. Uh, go away. Alright, how about you, Pussy? Now that the sun has returned, the crystal tree and I are filled with new life. I heard that it's all because of you. Thank you. You're welcome. And... Almost done here. Close to it, somewhat. Hey guy, by the way, do you even know what my name is? They call me To Lie Lip. I personally think it's kind of a rude name. I mean, I never lie. Never. <laughs> okay. Blue is a nice color, or so I begin to think lately. Has the sun changed my opinion? Or do I owe it to you, Mario? Oh yeah. You've got a little blue in your outfit too. Ha <laughs> You and I match. Sure. I guess we kind of do. Okay. Uh, the bubble flower doesn't say anything new. Also, the person at the well doesn't say anything new. And the sun is up in the sky. However, I'm going this way so that we can listen to a song that I'm sure a lot of you have never heard before.
This song only plays whenever you return to this place. After everything is good. Oh wait, you are here. Alright. I thought you were gone. Well, in that case... Hey, we meet again. Hey, did you, did you know? The sun in the sky... Or, wait... The sun is the sun only when it rises to light the skies. Today I am once more spreading sunshine so I can be called Mr. Sun again. Anyway, see you. Good luck. Huh. I thought he would stay up there. Well, that's kind of neat. So the sun is only the sun when it's in the sky. Yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. Still doesn't answer the question though. Are you the sun for the whole world or just this area? Anyway, it's kind of neat that that song plays there. Only plays whenever you go to that specific area after saving flower fields. I imagine most people do not go back there after saving flower fields. I did not need to come up here. Um... I'll talk to you... next time. I need to kind of end things now. Yeah, so we'll talk to you and Wise Wisterwood next time, and we'll also head out to Toad Town, finally head to the dojo, and see what else we can accomplish as we go around. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.